time for the faith walk of the day. So listen, y'all know my favorite scripture is trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. Proverbs 22 and 6. But I have to be honest. There um, was a time in my life. Well, there's four times I specifically remember going through a really, really dark time. I mean, in the car, driving, crying, uh, uh, calling people, and nobody answered the phone. And I felt so alone. And I, I literally pulled over. I, re I remember I was driving through Beverly Hills, all this beautifulness and lushness all over the place. I'm in my nice car, and I'm just broken and toe up. None of that mattered. Where I was, what I was driving, what I had, none of that mattered. I was jacked up and toe up, and I needed somebody to pick up the phone, and they didn't. And I was mad at people for just one quick second. And then I remembered that God never told me to trust people in the first place. So I didn't go on this tangent of nobody's there for me. And when I needed them, they weren't there because God promised to be there. He promised never to leave me nor forsake me. Here's what I know about God. He doesn't slander. He doesn't judge you. He doesn't say, I told you so. He just comes with love. All right. It's who we can trust. And his word never told us to trust people. Never. And I'm not saying don't love people. And I guess I have people who I love and that I call. But one thing I'm for sure, God never wants us to put those people above him. I had called my pastor. I called my youth pastor. I called my friends. I called my sisters. Nobody answered the phone. And I remembered that when I was in that situation before, God let the same thing happen. Because he wanted me to come to him first. He wanted me to seek him first. And his kingdom is righteousness. And then everything will be added. But my heart has to be okay in the hands of God. And not in the hands of people. Because people will always let you down. Not because um, they're not loyal. They're people. You don't know what other people are going through. And an emergency in my life didn't mean an emergency in theirs. Right. So you don't know where they were or what they're doing. So I didn't vilify anybody. I didn't write anybody off. But the Bible says, don't put your confidence in powerful people. There is no help for you there. That's Psalms 146 and three. And then Psalms 118 and nine says it, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. And so sometimes you may know people in high ranking places and bishop so-and-so and evangelist so-and-so. And if I could just get to that person, everything would be fine. And God wants you to find sanctuary in him. He wants you to find safety in him and in his word and let the host of heaven comfort your heart and give you strength to go through whatever it is you have to go through. Because y'all know we all got to go through stuff and we can't avoid it. But when you go through with Jesus, it's so much better than try to trust people. I've had people pray for me, but their prayers don't amount to what God does in my heart. Their prayers doesn't amount to what the doors that God opens for me, the favor, the lessons that I'm able to learn about myself and about God. And then it gives me so much confidence to move forward. And so the next problem, I, I can look back and I can say, he did this and he did this and he fixed this and he repaired my soul and he put the pieces of my life back together. So I don't have to stress or worry about who's not here because God is always here. His word says he'll never leave. Let's trust that. Let's say that. Let's speak that. Don't even say what if, because that's not a possibility. Loyalty is God's nature and character. He doesn't pick and choose when he wants to be loyal. He is just that kind of God. All right. So if nobody picks up the phone, call Jesus.